Hello my crafty friends, this is Monica from Also Petite. Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to make this binder pouch using a self-drafted pattern. So check out my previous video to learn how to create your own pattern in any size you want. I will link the video and all supplies I used in this tutorial in the description box below. This binder pouch features a zipper closure and eyelets, so you can easily add it to your binder. There is a clear vinyl on the front, so you can see exactly what's inside your pouch, and a fabric on the back to add a pop of color. This is a fantastic beginner-friendly project, especially if you are new to sewing zippers and bias binding, or if you just want to practice and improve your techniques. This pouch is perfect to store various items, such as stationery or your craft supplies. If you want to learn how to make this binder pouch, then keep on watching! To begin, use the pattern that you have previously drafted to cut one trim from external fabric, one pocket from clear vinyl, and also from your lining fabric and the external fabric and two zipper trims from your external fabric you'll also need a zipper I'm using a number five continuous zipper today and I have one zipper pull here you will also need a bias binding I'm using one inch binding today and lastly you will need a couple of eyelets and tools to set them in First, you're going to take your zipper trims and if you want, draw a line in the center on the wrong side of the fabric and then you can fold the longer edges towards that line in the center. I'm just going to eyeball it and press it with an iron and do that on the other side and repeat that on the other trim as well. All right, what I like to do is to apply double-sided tape on the wrong side of those trims, just in the center. Next, you're going to take your main trim and fold the longer edges by one centimeter and press them flat. But since I'm using a uh, for leather fabric, I'm going to use double-sided tape to do that. So I'm going to draw a line that is two centimeters away from my longer edges. Then I'm going to apply double-sided tape along each edge, peel the plastic cover, and then fold the edge towards that line. This way I can create a nice one centimeter fold. Next you can fold the trim with wrong sides together, line up the edges, those two folded edges, and then you can press that flat. But again, because I cannot really press it flat, I'm just going to finger press it. All right, next you're going to take your zipper, apply double-sided tape along one edge, Then you're going to take your clear vinyl and we're going to place one of those longer edges along the zipper, just like that. So about five millimeters, you need to overlap them. So I'm not sure if you can see that in the camera, but you basically overlapping the edge of your vinyl five millimeters above the edge of the zipper. So where the double-sided tape is, you're going to basically place the pocket, the vinyl pocket on top. So I'm going to remove the plastic cover and do that now. Next we're going to take our pocket trims and we're going to basically hide the raw edges. So we're going to peel off the plastic cover from our um, double-sided tape and place the 
pocket trims like this. So you're covering the raw edge of your vinyl and also the edge of your zipper. So you need to center the pocket trim just along the edge of that zipper. So the edge of the zipper runs along the center of your trim. So you, you're going to do that on one side, then we're going to flip it over, take the other zipper trim and do that on the other side. So let's do that now. And make sure you place the folded edges exactly at the edge of your first trim. This way, when we top stitch that in a second, you catch both trims on each side. So take your time. Do it slowly, make sure you are precise, adjust if you have to, press it with your fingers, here we go, so we have both trims nice and even. Then we're going to take this to the machine and we're going to top stitch along each side using 2mm seam allowance. To prevent the vinyl sticking to my machine, I like to use some sort of paper. Printing paper is good for that. And I tape it to my machine. Here we go. This is how it should look like. Put this aside for a second. Then you're going to take the fabric pieces and place them wrong sides together line them up around all sides and you can clip them in place when you are ready take this to the machine and baste the pocket around all sides All right, when this is ready, you're going to take your clear vinyl and place it on top. So the lining portion is on top. Place it like this. Line it up along the top bottom edge and line up the edge of the zipper around the side. Don't worry if your uh, vinyl is a little bit long. We're going to trim it down later on. So align those edges and you can clip them together. Next, we're going to take this to the machine and we're going to baste all four sides. However, if like me, you have your zipper pull separately, uh, remember not to baste over the zipper. So later you can add your zipper pull. When you are ready, add your zipper pull. Here we go. Then you're going to take your trim and we're going to place the trim along the other side of the zipper. So you basically need to sandwich the zipper between those two edges. So if you want, you can use double-sided tape again. Make sure you have the same distance on each side of your zipper teeth or zipper coil. So you're going to place it like this. So the zipper is covered on both sides. And then we're going to top stitch along that finished edge. Here we go, just like that. Then you can trim the excess zipper and trim the excess fabric on this side. So since I want um, my pocket to be 17 centimeters, I'm going to measure it against my grid and I'm going to draw a line. So then I can trim it down.
if you need to baste the zipper on each side so you don't accidentally lose your zipper pull and next we're going to add our binding now you're going to take your bias binding and fold one of the edges and line it up along the raw edge of your pocket make sure you have excess about one centimeter excess is enough around the top edge and then you're going to sew all around. I have a separate video tutorial showing you how to add bias binding around the corners. So I'm going to link that above. So I've got all three sides stitched. Then I'm going to trim the excess. So again, leave about one centimeter. And then we're going to flip the binding to the other side. Then you're going to fold the excess binding onto itself like this and fold the binding towards that side. Then clip it in place and sew close to the edge. Here we go, so this is our pocket finish. And lastly, we need to add a couple of eyelets here. So I'm going to use my binder sleeve to figure out the placement of my uh, eyelets. So I'm going to center it and use the holes to mark the placement. If you don't have a binder sleeve, use your binder to find out the placement of your of those prongs. So you can either take your finished pocket, place it against those prongs, make sure it is centered, and then you can mark the placement like this. Alternatively, measure the distance between those two prongs and mark it on your fabric. So that's another way to mark the placement. Once you have the placement marked, then you can make the hole for your eyelets. And then you can install your eyelets. So I'm going to choose the yellow one, place it inside the holes, just like that. I'm going to take my anvil, put the washer on top and using the tool, I'm going to install my eyelets. Your binder pouch is now finished. So go ahead and add it to your binder. If you like this tutorial, let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Stay crafty, friends.